proteins. These heat shock proteins are like big cauldrons. And the proteins come into those cauldrons and get refolded. So saunas are beneficial because they make you sweat a lot and they heat up molecular motion and those things combined help you to sweat out toxins. We talked about that last time. Today I want to show you another really important component of why saunas are so healthy. It's probably something you've never even thought of or heard of. So I got a paper here, 2016, in the Nutrition's Reviews Journal. And it's called Gut Epithelial Gut Lining Inducible Heat Shock Proteins. We're going to talk about heat shock proteins. And their modulation by diet and the microbiota. That means gut bacteria. So heat shock proteins. So they say essentially the gut has two vital roles. Number one, nutrient, nutrient absorption, taking in nutrients. And then number two, intestinal barrier function. You don't want leaky gut or you're going to have whole proteins coming into your blood. That's going to cause a lot of immune system problems. You're going to have bacteria coming through. It needs to be a good barrier. Obviously, it needs to take up nutrients, but it also needs to be a good barrier. That's a fine, delicate balance. <clears throat> so one such important defense system in the gut is activation of inducible heat shock proteins, which protect the gut epithelium, the gut lining, against oxidative stress and inflammation. All right? This is well known. This is in 2016. The gut lining is protected by heat shock proteins from oxidative stress. What's that? Well, it's like fatty acids that are overcooked. There's a lot of things that cause oxidative stress. It's really damaging. It's damaging to all kinds of things in your body. But the point is, it's, it's key in heat, to have a good gut lining and heat shock proteins are involved in that process. All right, 2017, Frontiers in Immune, Immunology Journal. Got a paper here called T cell mediated, that means immune system, your T cells are in your immune system, T cell mediated chronic inflammatory diseases are candidates for therapeutic tolerance induction with heat shock proteins. What's a therapy? Heat shock proteins, upregulating heat shock proteins. More of those please for these autoimmune diseases. They start by saying failing immun immunological tolerance for critical self antigens is the problem underlying most chronic inflammatory diseases. Failing immune system dis communication. That's the problem. Despite the success of novel immunosuppressive drugs um, in the treatment of diseases such as arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and type 1 diabetes, none of these approaches leads to a permanent state of medical medicine free disease remission. They don't you know, you got to keep taking these drugs, and they're pretty nasty drugs, these immunosuppressing drugs. But get this, heat shock proteins have been shown, have shown disease suppressive activities, and then they say especially through the induction of T cells, these immune system cells. So your immune system is eating your joints in arthritis, your immune system is eating your pancreas or some other organ in diabetes or whatever disease. Heat shock proteins, more of those, they help that, to clear up that communication, to rewire that faulty signaling. That way, you don't have to take these crazy drugs. You can kind of heal your body. Your own body can heal itself and actually get healed, not just you know, continually beating down these immune cells with immunosuppressing drugs. How do you do that? How do you upregulate heat shock proteins? How do you make more of these heat shock proteins I keep talking about? 2017 Annals of Agriculture and Environmental Medicine Journal. I've got a paper here called The Effects of Sauna Bathing. You knew it was coming. On stress-related genes expression in athletes and non-athletes. Right, the whole athlete versus non-athlete thing here is somewhat irrelevant to this conversation, but that's this paper. They say heat, heat stress induces genes encoding heat shock proteins. Induces, it means there's more of them. Heat stress makes more heat shock proteins. That makes sense. That's why they're called heat shock proteins. That's when they were discovered. Um, and heat stress induces more immune response mediators. So in, the, in this study, they measured inflammatory uh, markers, interleukins and C-reactive protein. 
um, between athletes and they compared athletes and non-athletes after sauna bathing all right they tried to have they had people in different groups with the same age the same height the same weight essentially more or less they took blood samples before and after sauna it's a good research paper 2017 again super recent and what did they find all in the non-athlete group all the tested genes were expressed at higher levels as response to the same heat challenge well they had more inflammation non-athletes had more inflammation but in every case inflammation was decreased from sauna how through a heat shock protein that's what they say it appears this is the conclusion that expression of heat shock genes induced by heat stress by saunas is dependent on the level of physical activity so in other words these athletes were actually healthier than the non-athletes which is another argument again to have more physical activity and then go into the sauna because again you're getting a, you're going to get a bigger response you're going to get more bang for your buck more benefits from the sauna but irrespective just sitting in the sauna it doesn't matter if you're an athlete or a non-athlete or you're exercising or you're not exercising if you get in the sauna you're going to increase these heat shock proteins and that's going to uh, number one help your immune system number two it's going to do something i didn't even talk about which is uh, refold proteins that are misfolded you have these proteins in your cells and the, when, when there's more heat shock proteins these heat shock proteins are like big cauldrons and the proteins come into those cauldrons and get refolded in these real highly beneficial environments within the heat shock protein. They get refolded and then they get sent back out to work as more functional proteins. And that's one of the things that's also beneficial. It's pretty well established. I don't need to go through a scientific paper. But, you know, again, re rewiring your immune system, refolding your proteins, just overall increasing your health. Saunas are super beneficial.